Hey guys, and before today's video starts, I just want to say thank you guys so much. We're closing in on almost 300 subscribers, which I really, really appreciate. Thank you guys so much for the support, and thank you guys so much for all the support in the most recent videos. The Wukong videos have been going absolutely crazy. I mean, having two back-to-back -back videos in real time, essentially, with almost a thousand views is absolutely insane. So just thank you guys so fucking much for all the support. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dia, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I have a little, something a little bit different for you guys. So first off, I want to make a disclaimer right now of two things. One, I'm not feeling well at all, so this is going to be a pretty short video in you know, the scheme of how I've been doing them recently. Second thing I want to talk about is actually why I'm not going to have any footage for the first part of chapter five. So if you look at the pictures I put on the screen now, uh, some of the pictures are going to look really shit and you're going to wonder you're wondering why. Well, I was messing with some OBS settings and I finally got everything to work, but it ended up downgrading the quality in OBS tremendously because I didn't realize, but a image downgrader or whatever it is was enabled in the advanced settings and it I had no idea it was on and I recorded about an hour and a half. I got to Cloudy Mist and Misty Cloud, the duo fight in chapter five before I stopped recording. And I'll make a disclaimer on that video as well, but basically I recorded the footage and just kind of went to shit. So I apologize for that, but I'll try and have that video out as soon as I can. My goal is to have Wukong done before Friday uh, because Friday is the big Steam release for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. There is going to be early release on Monday. However, I really don't want to have to play Wukong and Sparking Zero at the same time. And the reason being is I want to do the storyline in Sparking Zero. And I really like to, I like to stay connected with, the, with Wukong and Journey to the West. It's really helping me like remember what's going on and keep in touch with the story. That's just how I remember information. It's how I get really into games. That's what's going on with the videos now. And today's video is going to be also a little different on Call of Duty because a lot of people are talking about the mid-season updates and everything and the new season and it's so dry and different. And nobody's really talked about this. You're probably going, Dia, why do you have the TAC-56 on the screen with Orion? And the basic answer is just on the thumbnail and on the title. They updated Orion and it looks fantastic in the night environments. It really pops. If we can get one of the dark shipment maps, you're going to definitely see a pop. I have it here on the TAC and I actually have been messing around with the, the AK from Modern Warfare 2 and I've really, really liked it. And you can see he's got beautiful coverage on this gun too. We'll definitely be using both. And you guys can also see I've barely played. I haven't even gotten the cast off LSW yet. I haven't even fucking made it that far in the slightest into the battle pass. And I'll, I'll be honest, in terms of haunting events, this one is probably the worst. I'm not At least in my opinion. Now that's a, a lot of people say, oh, that's really depends on how you perceive it and that's how what you think of it. it's mostly down to like the skins and like last year we had the souls that you could collect and i grinded hard as fuck for those souls because i attended that event with like five days left or something like that and i grinded hard as fuck and i kind of enjoyed it yeah look at look at this fucking camo i mean you can't tell me this shit doesn't look better popping like fucking crazy i i fucking love it i actually love it so much i haven't played call of duty in i don't know maybe two weeks, maybe more. And that's just because Black Myth Wukong has been taking all my attention. Black Myth Wukong has been like exceptionally fun for me to play and I don't want to play other games. And I'm also going, I I'm curious to know if any of you guys are fellow content creators, definitely let me know how you cope with this. Cause I have something that I wanted to discuss that I'm actually struggling to deal with like on my own. That being is I'm, I kind of feel like every game, no matter what has to be content. Like I feel like if I'm playing games and I'm not making content, I'm kind of waiting wasting my time because I sit down and there are games I want to play like I really want to finish my playthrough on Oblivion because I'm really enjoying that game but with that being said I really just feel as if if I'm if I'm not creating content on Oblivion I'm like wasting my time when I should in reality be playing the games that I want because I'm also allowed to have like you know my own free time and stuff like that to just kind of do what I want so is there a way that you guys like feel like you can you broke this if you had this problem similarly to me because I really feel like I'm kind of like forcing myself to not play games if I'm not making content and it kind of sucks. Good. This gun looks fucking. This 
camo looks insane on this map. I mean, holy shit. I've literally wanted to use only the model for two weapons since I found out this camo was updated. It's so nice. It is genuinely so unbelievably just nice to look at. It's like all my grinding from like two years ago is finally worth it. Finally, finally fucking worth it. Because at first I said this before, it looks like it looked like just a oil stain on the ground that's pretty much what it only looked like. I can tell you right now, I really feel as if this is what it should have been from the start. It glows. It looks more like a nebula than it does an oil stain. It's called a rhyme for fuck's sake. You're expecting it to be in the sky, but it just, it pops. I can also tell that I'm not used to playing Call of Duty because after not touching it like consistently for like two and a half seasons or whatever, like I'm throwing... Good. I'm glad that player died. You stand there blocking your teammates. You don't deserve to be, be allowed to walk away. But I can tell, like, I've been throwing grenades at walls. My crosshair censoring is not good. I have just been getting shit on. Please do not do cell ship. I like the daytime shipment, but not for this purpose. Oh, I don't. No, give me a dark map. Give me... What is it? Ghost ship? Stay high? Regular shipment or shipmas? Maybe even bitmits? Like, give me like two thirds of the map pool, please. Stop giving me these, these light and dark maps. A light map will be good for a compare. You know what? Fuck it. I I'll just take the next thing I get. Fuck it. What? And I got both the daytime maps. Are you? I haven't seen it. I mean, it still looks good. It looks better. Like, still on one of these light maps. I'm not gonna say it does that 100%. What does it look like on the AK? I actually haven't seen it on the AK. I mean, yeah, beautiful coverage. It looks great. But my plan for content is I want to get Wukong done. Yeah, I've just kind of decided I'll get it done when I get it done. And then once Wukong is finished, I'll play some Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. After Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, we'll play our we'll play the horror game that we're going to have for October. It'll probably end up going into November, to be honest. Um, And that'll end up being probably the Until Dawn remake. I don't, it might be Silent Hill, but I mean, I, I still I think $70 for a remake is a lot, Um, even though I've never played Silent Hill 2. So for me, it'd be like a fresh new Game. Yes, $60 for a remake is still high with uh, Until Dawn, but at least I kind of have an idea of what I'm getting into, and I still think that's worth its price tag. This $70 budget thing sometimes just is out of control for me. I just think it's kind of crazy. I've also been seeing a big increase in Modern Warfare 2 weapons. Like before, it was like, you're probably a less than 1% chance to see one, anybody using one. Now you see like, probably, I've seen one every like other, every like, I wouldn't say every other game, like every two or three games probably. Like there's a guy using the Thamas, there's me using this. There was another guy in another game using something. I don't remember what gun it was, but I know for a fact it was a MW2 weapon. Just kind of surprised. There's the MX Guardian. I know the MX Guardian got an aftermarket part, so people are probably trying that. But I don't think any of these other weapons have. Like, also the Castov has one, but I don't think the Castov had got it recently. Pretty sure that Cat AMR got one. The MX Guardian got one, and something else probably. I just baited the shit out of the guy with a fucking trophy system. The camo looks great. Like, don't get me wrong. The camo actually looks fucking super nice. Even in these daytime apps, it looks really, really nice. The fact that I'm on top of our team is... That is a testament to how bad. 17 defense. I don't care about winning nearly as much as I used to, but... Holy fuck. Dang it, people on the other team had 30 on the defense. What the fuck did I do? Fuck me. Overall, this was something kind of really cool that I wanted to showcase. I think the camo looks way better than it did on the release of Modern Warfare 2, and I actually think it looks way better than it has at any point. Even when they updated the camo several times, it finally pops. It finally actually looks like a mastery camo that you want it to look like. I think with the Modern Warfare 3 mastery camos, they took a step in the right direction, which is part of the reason why they updated Borealis. On top of, or updated Borealis, sorry, I'm, I'm why they updated Orion because of a lot of success that Borealis saw. I think Black Ops 4 or Black Ops 4, Black Ops 6 is gonna have a same ripple effect with its mastery camo. I think that Dark Matter as well as the Zombies mastery camo and the Warzone mastery camo, which I'll admit, probably I'm not gonna go for the Warzone mastery camo. And I don't really remember the name of the Black Ops 6 Zombies mastery camo, unfortunately. However, the I know for a fact that multiplayer is Dark Matter solely because we've seen that so many times, it's like stuck in my head on how much I, I personally love that camo. I will take that mastery camo and 
so far, I'm, what, three for three in trying to go for this mastery camo in Black Ops games, and I still love it. So I'm still gonna go for it. I'm still gonna go for zombies. I really hope zombies is good this year. I, I have so much faith in it, because I know I talked earlier about how boring Bono for three zombies was for me, and it's just, I still stand by that. It's boring as fuck. That being said, I just, I, it can't get any worse, right? It surely can't get any fucking worse.